hello guys welcome back to ayaba creations so on this channel we learn how to make simple beaded crafts if today is your first time don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and leave a comment we have an online store on instagram where we sell beaded raw materials so you can pick up the whatsapp number on your screen or you can text us on instagram in today's video we are going to learn how to make this beautiful bag right here so another video request from our subscribers and oh please if you have sent us a video request and we haven't um, responded yet kindly take your time we promise to make all the videos and upload them okay the video requests are quite a lot so today i'm going to teach you how to make this bag if it's something you'd like to learn how to make stay tuned don't forget to like share subscribe so you are going to use two packs of size 10 mm sugar beads and then 0.8 millimeter thread so first you are going to take four of the size 10 mm sugar bead i'm going to leave the uh, list of the materials i used in the description then you pass the beading thread through the fourth one so it's like you are crossing so when you cross this is where you get your first ring of four then what you are going to do next is to take three of the size 10 mm sugar beads so three one two three cross with the third bead to give another ring of four beads okay so just like this then you are going to repeat again you are going to take three so i'm going to take my three beads now so i put one here put one here and then i'm going to cross with the third one to give another ring of four beads so this is what you are going to do in the beginning stage of making this beautiful bag so guys we have a telegram channel now so you can go to telegram if you don't have the app you can download it and then subscribe to our telegram channel at ayaba creations so we are still going i debated um quite a few off camera okay so still you are going to take three beads put one on each side of the beading thread and then cross with a third bead to give a ring of four beads so something like this is what you are going to get okay when you continue this process all right so we are still going on now this is the last part so as you can see i picked three beads but i placed all three on one side of the beading thread and i'm going to cross with the third one this will help us to move to the next stage of the of, of the bag we are making you see all right let's count one two so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so i beaded 15 rings of four in all as you can see and I, when i'm starting afresh i'm going to take three sugar beads again so one two three like this then i'll take the third one and then cross so i'm crossing okay so when you are done what you are going to do next is to pass the beading thread in your right hand through the next bead so i'm going to pass it through the next bead like this and then i'm going to add two sugar beads this time around not three two so two sugar beads and i'm going to cross with the second one to give a ring of four beads okay then i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead add two sugar beads cross with the second sugar bead to give a ring of four beads so yeah so i'm picking it then i'm crossing then you are going to do it again take two cross the second one to give a ring of four beats and that's why you'll be repeating all right so you can continue till you get to the last but one okay so we are here at this point i'm still going to take two sugar beads so one two and cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beats okay all right then this is the last uh, place for this stage so i also picked two but you see that where i place the two sugar beads and then what i'm doing so we are not going to continue again from this end we are just going to tie a knot like you see me doing and then we will pass the excess beading thread through the beads and cut off the excess thread okay
all right so at this point we are going to count six from each end so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen in all but we are going to count six from each end so one two three four five six then from this side to one two three four five six so we'll be left with three in the middle so one two three and we are going to bid along these three so first you cut a long bidding thread and put it through one so let me say this is the first bead okay so the first one then what i'm going to do is to take three sugar beads so three of the size 10 mm sugar beads then i'm going to cross with the third bead to give a ring of four beads all right so we are crossing okay then next i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead and then add two sugar beads so one two sugar beads cross with the second sugar bead to give a ring of four beads like this and i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead again and i'm going to add two sugar beads to the beading thread in my right hand so two sugar beads to this beading thread right here okay so this particular one then i'm going to take the second one and cross like this all right so moving on to the next stage i'm going to add three sugar beads again so i'm picking three one two three okay like this and i'm going to cross with the second one all right so <laughs> did i say second sorry i'm going to cross with the third one sorry so it's the third bead okay let's give a ring of four and i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead and add two beads then i'll cross with the second one this time around okay and next i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next add two so one two then cross with the second one to give a ring of four beads so this is what i am going to be repeating for this particular stage what we are trying to do is to make uh t so we already we already done with the base of the t so i'm doing the tail of the t now as you can see So we have our beautiful tea. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven in all here too is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the same measurements for the other side as well. Okay, so let's continue. So I cut a long beading thread again. I'm going to pass it through this bead and then this bead right here. Okay. So these two beads. Then I'm going to take two. Of the sugar beads so i'm taking two one two okay so one two then what i'm going to do is to pass the beading thread through the second bead cross to give a ring of four so you'll get something like this then what you're going to do next is to pass the beading thread through this bead right here uh -huh. then you're going to take two beads so one two then you're going to cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads next you're going to pass the beading thread through this bead right here but this time around you are not going to add two beads okay you are going to add three beads so one two three okay so like this 
you see three then you are going to cross with the third bead and this will give us a ring of five beads so a ring of five beads then what we are going to do next is to pass the beading th through the next bead which is this bead right here then what we are going to do next is to take three beads again okay three beads so one two three then we are going to cross with the second sorry with the third bead i keep saying second <laughs> with the third bead to give a ring of five beads again so a ring of five beads then we are going to pass the beading thread through this bead right here and then also through this bead so this is the first bead and also through this bead here this one right here okay then we are going to add two beads this time around okay two so one two cross with the second one and this will give us a ring of five beads all right you see it's very simple it's not a difficult pattern okay it's not difficult at all okay moving on so you're going to pass the beading thread through the next bead which is this one right here then this time around we are going to do rings of four okay rings of four so first i'm going to take two sugar beads then i'm going to cross with the second one to give a ring of four beads like this then i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead okay through the next bead which is this one then what i'm going to do is to add two sugar beads so one two cross with the second one to give a ring of four beads okay going in again i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead right here then i'm going to add two sugar beads cross with the second one to give a ring of four beads pass again add two sugar beads cross the second one to give a ring of four beads so that's what i'll be repeating okay so you're going in again i'm going to add two sugar beads okay cross with the second one to give a ring of four beads all right so here we are going to pass a beading thread through the last two beads so the first one is this bead here okay and then also this bead right here so two beads in all and this around you're just going to add one so just one sugar bead and cross okay and this will also give us a ring of four beads so at this point you should be getting something like this then what you are going to do next is to pass the beading thread through the next bead which is this bead right here okay we are going to do rings of five again so i'm going to add three beads now so one two three like this okay and i'm going to cross with the third bead to give a ring of five beads so a ring of five beads like that next i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead and then i will add three beads so one two three cross with the third bead to give a ring of five beads mm -hmm. you see then next i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead And then you're going to add three beads cross with the third bead to give a ring of five beads so basically that's what you'll be repeating okay all right so at this point i'm going to pass the beading thread through this bead and this bead so two beads in all that's the last two beads and i'm going to take two beads now so one two cross with the second bead to give a ring of five beads okay so you get something like this 
now you're going to press everything thread through this bead right here and then what we are going to do now is rings of six so i'm going to add three beads so one two three okay that's how you are done you take this beading thread right here and then pass it through this bead right here so it will be going backwards one okay so like that then you are going to take your third bead cross to give us a ring of six beads you're going to pass the beading thread through the next two beads so one two through the next two beads so you're going to add one two three beads cross with this third bead to give a ring of six beads okay now i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next two beads again so one two then you would so one two add three beads cross with the third bead to give a ring of six beads at this point you're going to pass the beading thread through one two three beads so see one two three beads then you're going to add two now so then you cross with the second one to give a ring of six beads and this is our last ring of six beads okay so let's continue now you're going to do rings of four so passing the beading thread through the next bead you are going to add two so one two like this so two cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads pass the beading thread through the next bead add two beads so one two cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads okay so that's why you're repeating all right so for the last part we are just going to add one bead and then here we tie our knot so let's tie Okay, so you're going to repeat the same thing at this side of the bag. This is what you should get. So next we are going to make the sides first. Okay, so I counted three and then you see where I'm passing the bead into it through. So the third bead from the end. So first I'm going to take three. So one, two, three sugar beads and i'm crossing with the third one to give a ring of four beads okay so it's going to look like this all right the next i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead and then i'm also going to add two beads cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads so i'm crossing nicely then i'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead again and I'm going to add two beads. Okay, so one, two. All two beads is going to go through this particular beading thread. Okay, then I'm crossing with the second bead to give a ring of four beads. All right, so we are going to build on this. So I'm going in again. I'm going to add one, two, three. Then I'm going to cross with a third bead to give a ring of four beads. Then I pass the beading thread through the next bead. Okay, so I'm going to pass the beading thread through the next bead. Then I'm going to add two beads. So one, two, and I'm crossing with the second bead to give a ring of four beads. Okay, so that's all. You are going to skip the last one. And I'm going in again. I'm going to add one, two, three so just watch as i do it's very simple okay and follow the steps
so at this point this is where you should get very very easy okay so next we are going to start building the sides but first whatever is repeated here you are going to repeat the same thing at the other side so you're going to count one two three from the end and then you do the same thing here so when you are done this is what you should get okay so building the sides we are still going to add three beads so one two three okay so three now then you're going to cross with the third bead to give a ring of four beads all right then we are going to pass the beading thread through the next bead which is this bead right here then we add two beads so one and then two so two beads in all cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads then we pass the beading thread through the next bead and then add two beads so one two all right cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads then we pass the beading thread through the next bead again so basically at this point we are just going to be doing this so we get to the other side so i am attaching another row again so the same procedure you are adding three then you cross with the third to give a ring of four beads pass the beading thread through the next bead and then you add two beads cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads and then you keep repeating this same process okay so you get to the other end All right, so to make the flap of the bag, we are going to bead an extension here. So first, you are going to take three beads and cross to the third bead to give a ring of four beads, okay? And we pass the beading thread through the next bead, and then we add two beads. So one, two. So it's the same thing we are going to be repeating. So add two beads, cross to the second bead to give a ring of four beads, pass the beading thread through the next bead, and then you are going to add two beads, so just follow the steps like that what i'm doing in the video if you do the same thing you're going to get the same outcome
okay so at this point we are almost done so the final stage you pass the bead into a through this bead right here then you tie your knot nicely okay so when you tie your knot you're going to pass the excess thread through this bead here okay so it's going through this then you make sure you pull your knot into the hole so that it will not show in the work just to give your work that neat finish okay so you pull it nicely as you can see my knot is not showing you can pass the excess through the rest of the beads and then you cut the excess off So after I'm done, I'm just folding the side that we were built on. So you remember I told you that we were just making the flap. So we did two in all, so two rows. So I just folded the two rows inside. So this is what you should get for one side of the back, okay? So you can do the same for another part and then you join the two together, all right? So I beaded the other one off camera and this is it. So we are just going to join the two parts together so you see the two flaps and then that will be all so i just um, extended my camera a little backwards so that i can show you how to do this part well but i've been watching my videos i'm sure by now you'll be familiar with how to close um two sides of the back so first you are going to take one bead like this you're going to pass the same beading thread through the next bead at the other side of the back and then you take one bead and then you cross okay very simple then next you're going to pass the beading thread in your right hand through the next bead and the beading thread in your left hand also through the next bead okay then you take one bead again then you cross so we are crossing nicely so you are going again beading thread in your right hand through the next bead and then beading thread in your left hand also through the next bead okay then when you are done you just cross all right beautifully so we are repeating it for the last time like that and then also like this then you pick one bead and you cross with that same bead okay so you can keep doing this this is all you have to be doing so you get to the end so in the end this is what you should get i'm going to take the last bead which is this one going to pass it through this particular bead at the other side and it, it will meet the thread and then we tie our knots okay and that will be it for the sides next we will make the flap of the back but first we have to design the back small so you just watch as it's done okay So do you see how the bag looks like? It's not done yet, but it's looking beautiful already. So when you count the sides, one, two, three, you get five here. So you're going to fold it in like I'm doing. Okay. So you're folding it in beautifully. So make sure when you're folding it in, it's equal on both sides. And you have to take your time here. Okay. No rush. So this is what you should get when you fold it in, as you can see. Mm -hmm. 
so what you are going to do is you just pick so you cut your new beading thread then you pick one bead but okay so let's see so this is my new beading thread i'm going to pass it through this bead here okay then i'm going to take one size 10 mm sugar beads all right then i'm going to pass the beading thread through the hole in the bead okay so it's going through like this then i'm going to pass the same beading thread through the next hole so through the next bead this bead right here all right then when you are done you take another one bead so we are taking another bead again so you should get something like this okay so you take your bead all right then you will cross and voila that is it by this point you can also decide to tie a knot okay you can tie a knot here and then cut off the excess thread whichever one you want to do but in the end you should know that you still tie a knot so i just crossed to show you how it's done but at this point when you get here you're supposed to tie a knot okay and then you cut off the excess thread so you are going to repeat the same at this side of the bag and then you are supposed to get something like this in the end you see all right and this side also folded in beautifully so what we are going to do now is the flap of the bag before we do the flap we have to close this side of the bag this side so we are going to close it then we will close this side so to, to do that we are also going to cut our new beading thread pass the beading thread through this bead right here just watch as i am doing it's very very easy okay so first you add three three um, beads cross with the third one to give a ring of four beads okay then you're going to pass the beading thread through the next bead like this right then you are going to add two beads cross with the second one to give a ring of four beads so I'm crossing the second one to give a ring of four beads now you are going to start again so this time i'm just going to add one bead okay then you turn over to the other side of the back then i'm going to pass the beading thread through this bead right here okay then what you are going to do is to take one bead and then you cross so you're crossing like that all right so this is what you get so it should look like this okay then you're going to pass the beading thread through this bead right here and then you're going to take one bead and pass the beading thread through that bead like that and you pass the beading thread through this bead here then you it will meet the other thread and all you do is just tie a knot okay so you're tying a, a knot when you are done you can pass the excess thread through the beads and then you cut the excess thread off so you should get something like this okay so when you repeat the same thing on the other side this is how it should look like right so next we are going to make the flap of the bag so i'm going to teach you just um a sample of how to make it then i will show you how i actually made it so first you would need three um first you need four sorry you need four sugar beads first so you pass all four and then you cross with the fourth one to give a ring of four beads and you take three put one on both sides of the beading thread cross with the third one to give you another ring of four beads so it will look like this then you're going to pick three beads again put one on each other the beading thread then you cross with the third one to give a ring of four beads and that is it you keep repeating so okay it's going to look like this all right okay so when you are done and you get to the end to turn you are going to take one two 
three so one two three beads and then you cross with the third one to give a ring of four beads and this will launch us to the new row all right so this is how it's going to look like this beginning again we are going to add three so we are taking three so one two three and then we cross with the third to give a ring of four beads then we pass the beading thread through the next bead and we are going to add two beads so one two cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads okay then when you are done you pass the beading thread through the next bead all right what you're going to do is to take two beads so one two then you cross with the second bead to give a ring of four beads so just watch as i'm doing it's very very simple okay and easy to follow so you can keep doing so um in my main work i did this is what i did okay behind the camera so one two three four five six seven so seven in all and this side is also 11 or you can do more you can do 12 you can do 13 depending on how long you want your flap to look so i did seven by 11 all right so when i'm i i finished so this is how i'm ending it okay Alright, so what it's left to do is to count three. So when you count three, then you fold it in like this. Then you count one and then you fold again. So I'm folding. Alright, beautifully. So here is also one, two, three. So what I'm going to do now is to uh, join this side together. Okay, very, very easy as well so all you need is just one sugar bead so you're putting that same sugar uh, beading thread through this bead here and then you are going to cross with one sugar bead so just follow the steps also very easy here you will be able to understand it okay so when you cross with the just this one sugar bead you're going to pass the beading thread in your right hand through this bead here and then the beading thread in your left hand also through this okay then when you are done we're going to take one bead and cross all right so you repeat again pass the bead into your right hand through this bead the one in your left hand also through this bead pick one bead cross and that is it very easy So now we are going to attach the handle here to the back so just watch as it's done very easy step 
so you will be able to understand okay okay so guys this is how it's going to look like very very simple all right now um we are going to attach this but i have a video on how to make this so i'm going to leave the link in the description for you to check it out so you are going to do that and then you pass that ring you pass the the handle through that ring okay then you attach you repeat the same thing that i did on the other side at the other side and this is what you will get in the end voila the bag is given it's beautiful and it's very nice so thanks for watching this video see you in our next video bye